Make your own Ethernet cables, they said. You're crazy, they said. But they're cheaper. You will need a 8P8C crimping tool, wire cutters, scissors, a cable tester, 8P8C RJ45 connectors, as well as in my case, CAT6 cable. To start off, you will need to remove the blue plastic sheath from the CAT6 cable using the wire stripper, then proceed to splay the cables out to cut away the plastic divider in the center. You are then required to organize the cables into the correct order depending on what you are using. In my case, I'm using a CAT6 cable and I'm making a straight cable, not a crossover. So we'll need to align the cables with number one being striped orange, then followed by dark orange, light green, dark blue, light blue, dark green, light brown, dark brown. Once the cables are in their correct order, you will then need to cut the ends off the cables so that the blue sheathing can fit inside the 8P8C connector. Then proceed to insert the cables into the connector, making sure the cables stay aligned and make it all the way to the end of the connector. Once the cables are in the connector, double check their alignment before crimping. In order to crimp the cable, insert the 8P8C connector into your crimping tool and give it a few solid squeezes to make sure that the cables make contact with the pins. Once the cable has been crimped, insert the cable into the cable tester to make sure that all pins 1 through 8 are aligned correctly to achieve full gigabit speeds. Links to everything will be provided in the description and if this video helped and you want to see more, drop a like and hit subscribe. If not, hit dislike and tell me why in the comments down below.